Hi everyone, how are you? We started off in the airport and in the Kuala Lumpur airport, I got this salad which was pure veg and it was about one or two ringgit, very cheap and we landed in Langkawi, it was so beautiful, just look at the view, the aerial view was just beautiful. So once we went there, we first went to the mangrove tour. This mangrove tour is basically a boat that takes us into the backwaters to the ocean. We saw eagles, we saw monkeys, we saw so many bats. There's basically a cave called Bat Cave. So you go inside the cave and you get to see a lot of bats. Arjun was so excited with this trip and seeing so much water at once made us feel so happy. And this was right on the day of our anniversary. And it was surprised because once we went into the ocean, it rained. So we were in water in the middle of rain, nowhere. It was beautiful. Hey, that's me. So it's called mangrove tour because you can see all these trees growing in the water. They have their roots up in the, uh, you know, above the water, not inside the water. So that's why they are called mangrove, mangrove uh, trees. Bond Arjun, MM Chushna Nubu. Eagle, monkey, fish. Inka. 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 Bond, huh? yeah, enjoy chase to know, huh? You choose your pochka, huh? Enjoy chase to know. Uh, this is the bat cave I was talking about. It has stalactite and stalagmite formations, and there are so many, like thousands of bats hanging upside down. We were joking, we were joking saying this is the mountain which Bahubali climbed because it looked so humongous and beautiful and yeah this is the narrow stream that opens, this is the canal that opens up into huge ocean and it's just gorgeous after that. Yeah, It's really difficult to get into a boat from this canal but it's, that's how they do it and then that very day we went to the beach and Arjun loved the beach. That's the first time he actually went to the beach and he had so much fun. Love this pic. And so basically our breakfast was this every day. Some salad. I would start with fruit, some salad and veg rice. That's the only vegetarian thing we would get in the entire uh, buffet menu. We wouldn't get anything else. And the next day we went to this uh, fruit farm where we saw so many fruit trees and spice trees. We saw mangosteen, rambutan, durian, jackfruit, uh, passion fruit and a lot of their uh, local fruits which we don't get to see a lot here in India, right? So they'd let us see the whole farm and they'd let us eat as many fruits as we want. Isn't that like cool? Yep, here are some of the fruits, uh, that's rambutan, oh sorry, durian in Arjun's hand, small baby durian and this is huge pineapple, <laughs> this is passion fruit, I was eating passion fruit here, was a, that was the first time I was tasting it and the very same day we went to Sky Cab, it takes you uh, up the hill one kilometer and then you can see the entire forest, the mountains, the ocean the beach it's just too 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 beautiful see the view it's just too good Uh, 
Yeah, this was the hotel we stayed in, and we went with a toddler, so you can see the monkeying. Hi everyone, this is Harshika, and uh, uh, I'm actually in my room in Lankavi, and I actually found only one vegan restaurant in this town. It's a Buddhist restaurant. It's called Zin Yan, Zin An, and we are going to try it now. And uh, I'm going to show you in a uh, moment how the experience was. This is the Zin and Ho uh, restaurant, Buddhist restaurant, and I took some clay pot noodles, Chinese noodles, and some clay pot uh, bean curd with uh, some gravy and vegetables. Mind the owner is very rude there. She thinks of Indians as people who cannot take anything outside of their own cuisine, and she's very rude. So just go eat and come. right now in my room in Lankavi and since two days I had this craving to eat this um, Malay desert uh, or Singaporean it's it's eaten in a lot of uh, Southeast Asian countries it's called ice kachang or ice kachang and it's nothing but shaved ice with a bunch of sugar syrup and and sago that is sabudana and peanut powder and stuff like that and it's almost like our Indian gola but in a different version and I'm just craving for it and I finally, finally found my way to get it I did have to lie a little bit I will not tell you what the story is if you guys want to guess what the story behind that is uh, that is how I like to get it you can try and guess in the comment section below I'll show you how it looks I'm going to show you so this is ice kachang it's basically ice with sago, sago balls and this is cream corn, red kidney beans. I'm going to show it to you right now. It's a very weird combination. It also has cream of corn which is salty. It's a really weird dessert but I just love it. Hey, so from Lankavi we came to Kuala Lumpur.